I am here with the one and only Sharon Case from The Young and the Restless. Hi, Sharon. Hi. What are you most excited about tonight? Well, we have several nominees, so I hope we take some trophies home. Hoping for a best show. That'll be fun. Is that the big one? Well, yeah, it's a big award at the end of the night, yeah. yeah. Um, so, Sharon has some huge storyline going on right now. She's finally getting along with the other women. Yeah, uh, I Nikki, love that. Victoria, Phyllis. Phyllis? Yeah, which is. Hell froze over, evidently. Yeah, you know, Phyllis and I actually came here together in the same car. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? Things change. Things really change. So, um, TJ's gone. JT. JT. Oh, hi. That's my dyslexia kicking in. JT's uh, dead. Yeah. And uh, it seems to be that Sharon's going to be the one to cave. What do you think? It seems like it, right? And, you know, you might guess she would do that with her past, but That's right. she doesn't necessarily. I can't give it away, but we have to see what happens. Cliffhanger Friday was that Phyllis threatened to uh, let the loony bin know uh, that Sharon's back to her Sharon's old ways. Back into the loony bin again. You can't give any secrets, but what, uh, anything, anything fun to look forward to? Oh, yeah, there's shenanigans between us four women that go on and on and tackling each other and stopping each other from blurting it out in different situations in the next few weeks. It's fun. So you've been on the show for a long time. How do you how do you keep it fresh with the storylines? How do you how how are you never bored with your work? Well, I'm not bored there because I love the people I work with. I'm happy to see them every day, and the storylines are always changing. So it, for me, it seems like I've always got something new to do each day. Mal Young is always writing us phenomenal things, and you never know what he's going to have you do the next day. I mean, we make a joke that I walk in and say, "What do you want me to do today, Mal?" Because it's just always. You That's right, know. because you, you tried to take over Newman a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Now you're working in the coffee house, so really we never know what's going on with Sharon. Yeah, you don't know. There's, she's changed a lot over the years. She could do anything. I really like her ha owning the coffee house. I think that's fun. It's a fun job for her. That is fun. Um, is there something, is there someone that you would like to see Sharon have more scenes with? Um, well, I mean, everyone really. You know, I, I like that all of a sudden I'm working with a lot of actors and characters on the show that never I never really did before. I mean, I've worked with Melody a lot and in, in the past, Phyllis. But now Sharon and Victoria, you know, I, I want that to keep going. I, and owning the coffee house, Sharon meets a lot of different people who come in. She's had recent conversations with Billy. You'll see come up in the air show. Um, so it's fun just being able to work with people I don't normally work with, all of them. And the coffee house is a good gateway for that. It, it is, because Sharon used to always be in her own house. It was sort of like she lived out on an island and she didn't meet anyone else in Genoa City. So I really like how this is going. Now obviously you know fans absolutely love Sharon and Nick together. Do you have a favorite leading man? Or is there someone that you would like to see her with, in, in, whether it be Nick or not? Well, Nick and Sharon have always been my favorite for Sharon. And of course, Sharon and Adam were a really big hit too. And Sharon hasn't been with Adam in years. But, you know, looking back at Sharon's life, Sharon and Nick and Sharon and Adam were definitely, those are Sharon's men. And lastly, what were your thoughts on the Chelsea departure? Oh, um, you know, I was Story, Storyline wise. Oh, oh, the storyline? Because uh, I was sad that she decided to move on, but, you know, uh, wish her the best. The storyline, um, I thought it was uh, interesting. They decided to go back to the roots of that character because she started out as, as kind of an evil character. That's right. And then she turned good. So I thought it made sense that yes. she went back to being who she was in the, in, originally. Well, best of luck tonight. You look absolutely magnificent. Who were you wearing, by the way? I don't know. Perfect. I love that. Excellent. We'll have so much fun tonight.